John Daly has traded his troubled youth for a calmer retirement life, thanks to a son that's a lot and nothing like him. John Daly II seems to be golf's old bad boy's second chance at life, and there's so much about their colorful relationship and little John himself that golf fans don't know. Who was his mom? Where did he learn to play golf? Did JD really clone himself? The life of John Daly I is like nothing you can imagine. It's a dystopian mural that makes you wonder if the artist is truly a genius or a sadist with skeletons in his attic. Daly was basically riding an F1 car at breakneck speed straight down the path to self-destruction, and it was on that turbulent trip he crashed into Sherry Miller. Like every pack of cigarettes he held, Daly's marriages burned out in seconds. Sherry Miller was the fourth woman Long John convinced to be his wife in the space of 14 years. He might have been lacking in the character department, but the boy had game. Two years after their marriage, Miller gave birth to Daly's third child and his only son on July 23, 2003. But as was the pattern with Daly's life at the time, the happy music of the baby's cry was soon drowned by another call of controversy. The week Miller and Daly welcomed John Patrick Daly II, Miller and her parents got into some terrible trouble with the law. Seeing that his in-laws and wife faced serious charges, John Daly quickly cleared his famous name. He said he knew nothing about Miller's involvement in the alleged crimes and suggested a guilty verdict in the Mississippi federal court might bring his journey with wife number four to an end. But something else threw the wrench in the works. An argument at a restaurant became a bitter fight between the couple during the 2007 Stanford St. Jude Championship. Although the police never found the steak knife Daly claimed his wife had attacked him with, the couple eventually called it quits in 2010. And probably because Daly could hardly be trusted with himself, Miller got custody of seven-year-old John Daly II. Not for long, though. Some months later, a jury in a Tennessee court found Miller guilty on some serious charges. Little John had missed nearly 30% of his school year, and Sherry Miller was handed three days behind bars for contempt of a circuit court, resulting from her divorce proceedings. Her unreliability, along with reports of her interference with Daly's court-ordered visitation rights, gave Daly full custody of his little boy. John Daly II had missed a lot of school time, and there was nobody better to help him catch up. But wait for it, Daddy Daly. With the help of his girlfriend at the time, Anna Kladakis, Daly homeschooled his son. He juggled full-time parenting with an itinerant life that had him waking up in different countries as he tried to resuscitate his dying golf career. In 2013, Daly tweeted, Working hard on tour and homeschooling my son makes me a busy man. Life is good. Hashtag on the road. And no other words could caption the essence of that period of their lives better. Daly would sometimes cut his practice rounds to make time for mini John Daly's education. And in no time, they were moving through the grades. He told The Independent, When I was first granted custody before last Christmas, little John could hardly write or read. In just one year, I've got him through two grades. He was so far behind because his mother never got him through school. He missed 84 days of kindergarten, so they held him back. And then he had already missed 25 days of first grade. I've had to teach him every day, and I've got him through his first two grades in a year. That's because I've given little John a structure. He knows he has to do it. Of course, Daly didn't immediately turn over a new leaf, but you could see how watching over his child can make him rethink his life's choices. It was one thing he couldn't gamble with. Since we are talking about choices, do you have one when your father is John Daly? When you are John Daly Jr., there's bound to be some golf in you. Of course, old Daly is far from being the greatest golfer of all time, courtesy of his aversion for discipline. Still, everybody knows he was the best on the field when he played at his best. And when Big John saw that swinging spirit in Little John, he sent him to Bishopsgate Golf Academy, the International Junior Golf Academy in Florida, where he learned the fundamentals of how to do his daddy's job. Little John might have learned a lot from the coaches at Bishopsgate, but this was inborn. In his days as a junior golfer, he almost made some fantastic golf history when he entered the headlines for sharing the 36-hole lead at the Die National Junior Invitational at Cricket Stick in Carmel, Indiana. Why was this special? 
Victory at that course would have made him the second daily to taste triumph on the stage of his father's life-changing PGA Championship victory in 1991. Little John didn't win in Carmel, but he made his mark on the junior circuit and won the IJGA Player of the Year in 2021. And when it was time for college, young Daly showed how much he enjoyed walking in his father's golf shoes. He chose the University of Arkansas, from where he dropped out in 1987 to try his luck on the pro game. With two majors, a host of international victories, and an unforgettable name, he surely found a lot of luck on the way. Daly might not be a model father, but for a man with his background, he raised a fine boy. And he never misses the opportunity to express his pride in his boy. Talking to Joe Buck and Michael Collins at Southern Hills, Daly spoke about his love for the Arkansas Razorbacks golf team and his son's prospect on the college team. About his boy, he said, I'm proud of him for the way he works at golf and the way he works at school. He's just a great kid. I thank the Lord every day I got custody of him because I don't know what would happen if I didn't. It's interesting to think of the older John Daly as the guy he became, but maybe wisdom does come with age. He's fallen and gotten back up all his life like a toddler that never got the hang of walking. But considering his childhood, it's a miracle he didn't totally fall off the rail. In his in-depth interview with Graham Bensinger, Daly dug deep into his past and shared some gruesome childhood tales. This was him trying to describe his father. My dad is, um, he's just, just, it's just tough. His father wasn't just tough on him. He also once tried to kill him. Yet, in his own words, his mom was an angel. I look at my mom as just being an unbelievable woman to put up with some of the things that my dad did. Then I look at my life. When things were bad with all my wives, they were just gone. When things were great, man, they were right there by our side. When things were bad, gone, he told Benzinger. However, from his dark past, Daly has been able to make some light for his son. Ahead of the 96th Invitational at St. Petersburg Country Club, Little John told the press how he's changing the narrative. He tells me to do the opposite of him, and I'll be just fine, he said. But not at the 2021 PNC Championship where they needed to move in tandem. The Dailies had played in several editions of the PGA's highly rated father-son tournament, and their partnership finally produced a victory. And it was a record-breaking one, too. Even Daly's bladder cancer couldn't stop him and his son from carting 27 under par to beat the 25 under put up by Tiger and Charlie Woods. About the win, Daly said, It's just one of the highlights of my life. To be able to play in a PGA Tour event with your son and win, it's pretty daggone special. You know what's special? Bombs. No, not those ones. JD Sr.'s explosive personality was not the only thing that attracted golf fans to him. It was also his knack for nonchalantly throwing fireballs down the fairway. Daly would grip it and just rip it. To golf fans in the 90s, he was Bryson DeChambeau, just with a louder wardrobe and a volcano under his mullet. There's 37 years between him and Junior, but Daly II is putting a different kind of distance between them. In 2020, his dad told Golf's Subpar Podcast, he's become one hell of a ball striker, and he's hitting it past me now, which I'm okay with, but we still go at it. He's playing the same tees as me now, and we're having battles. The Dailies are not only having battles, but also splitting checks. In April 2022, Hooters announced their name, image, and likeness deal with the pair of Dailies. The deal was long overdue, considering Big John's long history with the international restaurant chain. I've seen my father's great relationship with Hooters over the years, and I'm proud to continue my family's association with this worldwide brand, Little John told his over 130,000 followers on Instagram. By the way, John Daly Jr. or Little John will be a fire moniker if he ever decides to do some MCing on the side. Dailies are kind of expected to be unorthodox anyway. If you enjoyed this video about John Daly Jr., check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below. We're sure you'll like that one too. See you there. There.